Hello and welcome back to the channel. Before I get on with the video, I would like to say a massive thank you to all my new subscribers. I announced a contest just over two weeks ago, and since then, well, before the contest, I had about 105 button subscribers. Now I've got 147. So a massive thank you to all my new subscribers. I believe I've had about 15 entries into the contest. It is running until the end of September, so the draw will be beginning of October sometime. I'll put a link in the description to that video. So if you're new, go and check it out. Thank you. On with the channel. On with the show. So in today's episode, it's going to be, well, say it's going to be, I'm going to enter the contest that Jeff Witcher set up. It is celebrating him getting to a thousand subscribers. Well done, Jeff. Fully deserved. He's a very comical individual. I like his little series on trying to not buy vinyl. It's so just funny and witty. Go and check Jeff's channel out. Link in the description. For the contest, he wants you to just name, talk about your favourite band and how, when you got into them and why you like them. So... As you can tell from the wall behind me and the top that I have on, my favourite band is Wham. Uh, it's Green Day, as, as of course. I think the, I went to Green Day in about 1998, and I mean the reason why I think I really like them, love them, whatever you want to say, is the fact that it was probably the first band that I ever got into without my brothers, my mothers, or any of my family's influence. I saw Billy Joel play on Top of the Pops, or hey, uh, Good Riddance Time of Your Life. And I did love, I loved it, I loved the way he looked with all his spiky hair and everything. And then there was a man who lived down the road, an original punk called, we called him Sid, and he did me a cassette recording of Green Day's Dookie album, a laugh of it. So I listened to it and I absolutely loved it. It did remind me of Nirvana slightly. I already knew what Nirvana, Nirvana were, but I went to Green Day and then I got, when people were doing copied CDs, I got my friend at school to copy me Nimrod on C CD. And I love that. So I have seen Green Day nine times. First time was in 2002 in Nottingham, England at a Distortion Festival. And it was amazing, blew me away. And then when American Idiot came out in 2004, I saw them on that tour from at the Leeds Festival, Birmingham, NEC, Nottingham Arena, and then when they played Milton Keynes Bowl in front of 65,000 fans in 2005, I saw them there as well. So three to four times on one tour. And the last, well, one of the best times I saw them, I went to Leeds 2013 for one day because they headlined. And they played the whole of Dookie from start to finish. It was amazing. It was a mud bath, but it was amazing. So, and I've got tickets to see them next year on the Mega Hella Tour with Fall Out Boy and Weezer. I'm not really, I'm not a Weezer, um, Fall Out Boy fan, so I'm looking forward to Weezer more. I just don't know what, so I don't know why I like them. I do, but I can't put it into words. I just... It's just lyrically something that just resonates with me. I and mean, Billy Joel was one of the reasons why I picked up a guitar. I do think he's, people don't rate him as a guitar, but I think he's a good rhythm guitarist. I think he's one of the best. You can hold a rhythm for hours and hours. I think the last, one of the last times I've seen him, they played for like three hours long. It was just like, Jesus, how can you do that? It hurts your fingers. But if you want to see how passionate Green Day fans are, go on YouTube and check out when they played Hyde Park. Before they even come out, they played over the speakers, Bohemian Rhapsody, and the whole crowd just sang the words back to a camera. It's a, it's amazing. It's about 70,000 people at Hyde Park. Go check that out. So, yeah. I love Green Day. Probably will do. I've got, I even like their side projects. You got the, they did a new wave synth pop side project called The Network. That's class. Go and check that one out. Or what was the other one? Foxborough Hot Tubs. Go and check that one out. I haven't listened to the one he did with Nora Jones, the Heavenly Brothers, not a big Heavenly Brothers fan, but it's fucking now an Heavenly Brothers song. But if you like that stuff, go and check that one out. And he did what? He did his other one, but I forgot what it was called. But yeah, 
that's my interview to Jeff's contest. Go and check out Jeff. Fantastic channel. He'll probably be at 2000 by the time this contest ends anyway. So, thank you for watching. Sweet. Stay precious.